So if you live outside Spain, you might not be aware of this whole drama going on between the United Kingdom government and the Spanish government. Keep in mind that this does not affect you if you come here on holidays, only if you live here as a resident. Since Brexit, UK is now a third country. And if you arrive from a third country into Spain to live, you have six months to drive on your international driving license. After that, you have to pass a Spanish driving test. Unless Spain has a treaty with your country, which are these. After Brexit, UK wanted to negotiate with all European countries to reach an agreement and exchange driving licenses. All European countries have agreed to it, but Spain. So every UK license holder living in Spain was told to exchange their license to a Spanish one before the Brexit deadline of 31st of December 2020. Unfortunately for myself, I did not realize that there was such deadline lurking as I barely squeezed myself in to move into European Union in Spain just before the Brexit deadline. Known if there was such thing as deadline to register your intent to, to exchange your driving license before the deadline, I would have definitely done so because it has caused me a lot of hassle. Those who registered an interest in exchanging driving license were given an additional year to exchange their licenses. And by the way, if you haven't done so already, Please subscribe to our channel because we have got a lot of interesting content coming. The Spanish government and the British government have been in talks over this issue ever since. But the good thing is that during all these negotiations, the UK license holders in Spain were allowed to carry on driving as it was normal. Everybody thought that the talks would be over soon, but that was far from reality. We know that international treaties are complex and long, but for the reasons beyond our understanding, the negotiations over this issue has taken much, much longer. During which time, multiple deadlines were relaxed by the Spanish government and the UK license holders were continuously allowed to drive. Until one day, they said, from May the 1st, 2022, the UK license holders living in Spain now this is very important because it does not impact you if you are here for a holiday. Only UK license holders residing in Spain for more than six months must stop driving from the 1st of May 2022 or set a Spanish driving test or wait until the negotiations are completed. It was a huge blow for Brits who moved here recently. Spain is a country famous for its Mediterranean lifestyle and people here live mostly on the coast which is spread out in the vast area. Sometimes communities are a bit far away from important places like post office or a large supermarket. Take our example, we ordered a new car back in December 2021 which was delivered in June 2022 due to the delays caused by the global chip shortage. But at least we were living in the town of Cadiz where everything is available on a walking distance and is very well connected as well. But then we moved to Marbella, which was our original plan. We knew that I would soon be able to drive as it's just a matter of time before the negotiations are completed. So we decided to explore the areas further afield since after London we wanted to be more in the nature than a city. We found a great place and assigned a 12 months rental contract but the development was originally designed to be a resort isolated from modern life so you can completely disconnect from everything and live peacefully in nature. The nearest shop if you run out of milk is an hour's walkway through the hills in the Spanish sun and worse if it's raining which it does in the winter season. Luckily we can drive or I can drive because when I lived in Spain a long time ago I passed my driving license here so when I moved back from England I was able to exchange my UK license to my original Spanish one. Anyway the British ambassador to Spain, Mr. Hugh Elliott, through their official Facebook page, Brits in Spain, has been kind enough throughout the process to reassure us and keep us updated. 
At one point we were told that we would be able to be back on the roads within a month. It has been five months since. But the good news is that, as per Mr. Elliot, Spain and the UK have now reached an agreement. And once it is approved by the lawmakers, we all can drive again from that point and we'll have six months to exchange our licenses. So what took so long? Well, Spain is the number one destination for Brits moving abroad. And Spain wanted to have access to driver's data who misbehaved on their road, which the UK denied on the grounds of data protection and privacy. That was the official line. Rumor has it, it was all to do with Gibraltar. Britain, due to Brexit, has now less leverage on Gibraltar compared to before. Hence, it has been reluctant to finish negotiations with Spain over Gibraltar. Spain, on the other hand, frustrated with British reluctance, used the driving license issue to put pressure on Britain. The UK has officially denied this. Well, now that the agreement has been reached on the driving license issue, Gibraltar negotiations seem to be going really well too. A bit of coincidence? Either way, I have waited seven months to drive our new car. I can't wait to get behind the wheel once again and drive to the scenic drives like this one and many more in Portugal and all across Europe. If you like this video and you would like to see more kind of videos or informative videos like this, please let us know in the comments below.